My paternal grandfather, Frank Hughes, was the last coachman and first chauffeur at Twittick Manor, 52 years in service to the Manda family. Frank wanted to follow in his father's footsteps and at the age of 14 began his career as a coachman. Mrs. Flora Manda saw his advertisement and wrote her first letter to him offering him the job of coachman. Mrs. Manda offered Frank 21 shillings per week, good house and garden. Mrs. Manda's secretary and housekeeper, whose name was Emma Smith, wrote to Frank and told him that clothes are included and that Mrs. Manda is very particular about her coachman always looking clean and smart. After Mrs. Flora Manda's death in 1905, Frank continued in his position as coachman to her son Geoffrey. The age of the motor car had arrived and Geoffrey, being a young man, wanted one. Frank learned how to drive a car and Whittick Manor's carriages were done away with. Frank's typical duties as chauffeur included driving Sir Geoffrey about in the local area when Sir Geoffrey was campaigning to be elected to Parliament. When Frank parked the car with the engine running outside the manor, he would cover the bonnet of the car with a blanket. Anthea Manda, Sir Geoffrey's daughter, told me that the Manda family thought this was very amusing, greatly enjoying the spectacle of the car being treated like a horse. My Uncle Albert explained to me that the blanket would be keeping the engine of the car warm, preventing it from stalling. Frank enlisted during the First World War. He served his country as an ambulance driver in the Army Service Corps. Many years later, I came back to Whittick to become a guide, and I have been a guide for the last 20 years. During that time, we had a servant's tour, and I was nanny, and I still sometimes dress as nanny for special occasions.